so since being on BeatStars, can you talk about um, how that's helped build out your career even before um, signing to a publishing deal with us? How, what have um, you been able to gain from being on BeatStars? And maybe you can share like some tips for really like making sales, connecting, um, yeah. all those things. <laughs> um, wow, there, there's a lot of nice features on BeatStars. Probably the best is uh, like those integration technologies are crazy. Like MailChimp, um, if you set up MailChimp, like you can um, keep a relationship going with your customer. Like the last store that I had, it was like, it was, it was not it for like getting any emails even getting a name was kind of hard sometimes it was just like this email address bought a beat and that was it but like when you switch to beat stars like you'll get like a, a lot of customer data which is really useful to help figure out yeah what, yeah like what they like oh one of the most um underrated aspects that a lot of people seem to look over even just when you're on YouTube or on B stars is just the tags, like just putting tags down yeah. on your beat. Like that will get you lit crazy. Like if you put the right tag down, cause I'd be putting some tag. Yeah. I wouldn't be putting tags on YouTube and then I put tags on B stars and I'd just be getting mad sales. I'd be like, dang, like they just look up this type of beat, this type of artist. And I just like, it's just going crazy. But yeah. Yeah. You guys got the tags down. Cause I see your name pop up in searches often. So that's why. Um, Donnie, um, as far as like your MailChimp experience has gone, how have you been able to keep up with your your audience or the people downloading um, your music? Oh, yeah. Uh, for MailChimp, um, pretty much um, MailChimp has some nice features that allow you to just like figure out what they bought and like if they're a one-time customer like repeat like you could you could categorize your data pretty nice so pretty much like if i were to sell a beat i would just start a relationship right there like saying hey like i'm really appreciative of you showing support and uh, like if you want to talk about anything or if uh you have any questions or you know if you if you want to share your music with me just feel free to reply to this email or follow me on instagram or whatever and it, it works like it really works like to the point where you can build a really like it, it transforms like somebody who bought a beat from you to somebody who now like supports you because oh you're the first producer out of like the other 20 that are actually wanting to listen to their music or actually wanting to help them out yeah like yeah. you gotta care about you gotta care about your customers yeah. like you just can't be just like all right just give me the beat like yeah you can't you not know. just give them the beat but just like give me the money and then it's just like go away and then yeah. that's just bad business like you really gotta like talk to them be friends with them this is how we built everything like just being friends with everybody and just messing with everyone like just treating them like trash it ain't gonna get them no like, yeah get us anywhere it ain't gonna get them nowhere because they can't work with us you know what i'm saying i want to work with everyone i want to make sure i get my beats out there i want to make sure that you know everyone's happy you know yeah, yeah. um it's funny because i have to download a lot of music in my day um just as it pertains to my job and i have because of that i'm automatically subscribed to everybody's mailing list and i get the auto responders and i look at them sometimes i'm like you guys are pretty crafty with this you know like um whether it be like a thank you or what Donnie suggested, like send me your music. Some people offer like discount codes for the first time you download. Um, just a lot of opportunities to connect. So I think that's a really, really special 